Now, when you get the ABS concern on an escape, it won't always set a light. And when it does, it'll indicate which corner of the vehicle has the issue, which speed reading is not there. It's gonna be a speed reading. Let's just say I've been working on these a long time, and I've never replaced the ABS sensor, or a module, or wiring, or a rear tone ring either. It's always been the fronts, it's always been the tone ring, and even on the worst ones, the, the sensor never gets damaged. So it's nothing to worry about. You can visually look at it, but I never see one grind into the sensor. Um, as I was saying, you wouldn't get a, a light at all times. You may get it where it, you start coming to a stop, and it'll just activate the ABS and it'll grind and grumble and make all kinds of motor noise. Um, you'll feel in the pedal a grinding, pulsating noise and feel. Um, and there may not be no light, and it's usually at lower speeds when it does that. Um, it's, it's really easy to look at it and see or touch it and it'll move and fall off and that way you know sometimes the crack's really small sometimes it's not and uh, but definitely tapping on it lightly with a screwdriver or a hammer really, really gently you'll see it move or be loose enough to be out of line with the ABS sensor and that's obviously your issue if there's not a light. If there's a light, you can use that for your, your corner, of, corner of the vehicle you want to go after. You don't want to go to uh, uh, AutoZone and deal with them and scanning it and all that stuff. I'm telling you, it's going to be one of the front two and it's going to be a tone ring. And this video is how to change it. And save yourself a boatload of money. The, they've made the tone ring separate now, so you have to buy the half shaft. And uh, it was about uh, seven, eight dollars. So if you can do that and spend a little bit of time um, fixing your escape yourself, you might as well do it. So we're gonna get to it here in a second. I'll show you step by step. Socket sizes, tricks, tips. Alright guys, today I'll be dealing with a ABS concern, ABS light, on a 04 escape. This particular one had a right front ABS sensor uh, code. And what's common on these is the tone ring cracks on them. They loosen and then they uh, there we go, you can see the tone ring, they crack because the uh, outboard stub axle corrodes and the pressure of the rust when it grows um, expands and then it puts too much pressure on it and it'll crack and usually in one spot only. And then it gets loose on there and then it won't be in line with the sensor anymore and won't induce that signal to it. So it'll be flopping around on there. Usually it does not do damage to the sensor. Never seen it. This is how the ABS tone ring should look. This one was done a few months ago. Pressed on, new, um, and in line with the sensor. That's where it should go. Now this is the side that's bad, right? And you can see right there it's not even on there anymore this one completely fell off you can see right there is the, the ABS sensor itself and how it's supposed to be in line with that um, tone ring to induce that signal alright first thing you want to do obviously is pull the wheel off uh, you can pop the center cap right here the flat, flat hat screwdriver um, Lug nuts are 19 millimeter. 
and they're 100 foot pounds approximately for the lug nut torque when we're done. So pop the tire off. All right, next thing is the axle nut, which is right here. It's a 32 millimeter. I'll be using an impact. If you're gonna be doing it by hand, um, do it while the vehicle's on the ground. Wheel on, and uh, that'll hold it from spinning. Brake torque on it, and then you can do the rest while it's up in the air like this. Okay. Next thing you want to do is uh, take these two bolts out right here, right there, there. Nuts are 18, the bolt heads are 18. Um, use your socket, impact, whatever on this side. This side, use a box end wrench. Like so, to hold it. And this After that, there should be a loose in there. Popping through like that. All right, next we got to uh, pull a 10 millimeter bolt right there out. That holds the ABS sensor on. It's a little self-tapping kind of bolt. Let's see, like so. And that just can be loose then. These, what you do is you push on the strut there and then pull these out. So I'll try to do it. Let's see. There's the bottom bolt. Push on the strut. And you should be able to pull them out. ABS sensor's loose, the wiring. There's a clip that retains the brake hose to the strut. She ain't got that. And that simply slides down, out and away. So that's loose, that's loose. These two bolts are loose and this fell forward. Only thing left to do is push the axle in. I use the air hammer, like so. You can use a, a regular hammer. Once that starts coming out, you're going to want to put the ABS sensor around the back side instead of the front side. I'll give it a little more slack. This has got plenty of slack. And now, your tie rod end, leave that all on. No need to mess with that at all. And the axle itself, you push down the arm by pushing down on here. Keep it straight. You can angle it just a bit like that and you'll get it out. Then, you don't need to pull it from the vehicle but like this, flopping around is hard to work on it. So, what you do get a nice strong bungee, strong ones that don't stretch so much. Wrap it around it a couple times. Like so. Put it up there. And I'll hold it so you can work on it. There's varying degrees of the rust on here. This one's not bad. Um, you'll get them really scaled up sometimes. Either way, you need to clean it off, like I've started to here. 
there you go. I got done here. So it's it's all the extra scales off of there. So when you press it on, it's not too tight and it's not cracking and it's not cocking on there and everything else and it'll sit right and uh, straight so that it reads it just fine when you're done. Once it's all cleaned off, some brake clean or something like that on there. Clean up all the extra dust and flakes of rust and all that. Looks something like that. All ready to go. Alright, for the uh, area where you're going to press it on, let's put a light coating of grease on there so it slides on better. This is actually too much, but literally just coat it like that. That's all you need. Makes it easier going on. Now it comes time for the uh, actual tone ring installation. I have a special press on uh, contraption that'll press it on evenly without pounding on it. If you're going to be doing it at home, in your garage, your buddy's garage, and then you can take the old one, which is usually still intact, and you can all the way around. Evenly. First part's most critical, where it needs to go on even. After that, you just follow it around. And you have to on this side. This way you're beating on the old ring and not the new one. It's already straightening out. When you're done, it should look just like this. All the way around. Alright, make sure that bolt's in for the, line, the uh, ABS sensor. That clip is in in that orientation for the um, brake line. Bolts are in, 85 foot pounds, and your nuts tighten down to 214. Basically, you can just um, tighten it down until it stops with a regular one and a half foot breaker bar. With reasonable strength, and it's, it's it's you know tight enough to clamp that bearing in there. And there it is installed. And you can see it's right in there with that, that sensor in line with it. So it's fine. Right there, see? Don't forget the lug nuts, 100 foot pounds of torque. Again, put it on the ground if you don't have an impact or a, a torque wrench and just tighten them down um, with some kind of breaker bar. And you'll know when they're snug and tight. For any kind of ABS concern, all you gotta do is drive it. If you fixed it, 10 miles per hour or above, it'll read it and self-clear itself. So pull it out, go for a drive. After that 10 mile per hour mark, it's gonna see a valid signal from all the sensors, and it'll just it'll kill that light all by itself. No scan tools, no uh, disconnecting the battery, nothing like that. And uh, you just save yourself at least 200 and fifty dollars to sixty doing this yourself and it's very simple no special tools uh, right in your garage or driveway okay so that concludes the repair on this uh, escape for the tow ring I hope you guys are enjoying my videos and uh, I plan on making more for common problems on uh, other cars diesels Focuses, escapes, all fours, sorry, everybody else. But tone rings, uh, brakes, a lot of that applies to just about any make and model. It's all very generic. This is specific. This is a very common problem. And I'm putting it out there to help you all out.